Hey there, Aaron here. I am really crazy sick right now. It sucks. Uh, crazy sick and I have to go to school every day because I can't miss any classes. So, drive me a little nuts, but I wanted to make just a really quick video. Uh, I have, I've had this idea in my mind um, about a thought experiment regarding virtue ethics, and I just wanted to put it out on YouTube and see what the YouTube virtue ethicist has to say about this particular uh, thought experiment that I've come up with. Now, it's possible that uh, this is actually just a variation on some other famous thought experiment. I've never heard it before, but I, I reserve the right to say somebody else might have come up with this. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's get to the thought experiment. So let's imagine that there are two worlds, right? World A and World B. And in World A and B, there is an equal number of people. Let's say 10% of the people, right? Are, they just have nothing but malicious thoughts. They have nothing but thoughts of rape and genocide and war and killing and stealing and manipulating and just everything terrible under the sun, right? And in world A, these people are constantly acting on this, right? So that it creates sort of a chaotic world of just warfare and violence and rape and genocide and all these terrible things. Now in world B, uh, the, these, these same group of people, right? I mean, they're not the exact same people, but they're the like people, are, uh, for some reason, they're a little more scared, right? They're just not able ever to act on these intentions. They always have these intentions. They always intend to act on these intentions. But whenever it comes down to it, they just never quite pull it off. They never are able to uh, commit these violent and, you know, terrible acts. So my question is, you know, the point of this thought experiment is, uh, it would seem, under the virtue ethicist, uh, you know, under definition of, of what makes a good world, by a virtue ethicist, that world A and B would be equivalent, right? They're more or less the same, because they have the same number of bad intentions, we'll say for the sake of argument. Um, but world A has, you know, war and rape and genocide, and just is just a violent, horrible place, right? It's, no, it's not a place anybody would ever want to go. Whereas world B is a relatively tranquil, normal world. There's not much violence. There's not much... You know, I mean, it's just it's just a world, right? A, a relatively uh, benign world, because every time these people with the bad intentions go to act, they, they get chickened out. Something happens. They're just never able to quite go through with it. And I'm not asking which is a more free world. I'm asking which, uh, which world is a better world. Now, like I said before, it seems, you know, if I was a virtue ethicist, I may have to say that both worlds are equivalent. They're equal in some sense. Um, as uh, a deontologist or as a, uh, a, com a consequentialist, I, I, I'm not restricted to saying that. I could say one world is certainly worse than the other. Um, so I'm curious what a YouTube virtue ethicist has to say about this particular thought experiment, right? What do you guys think? Um, is, is, this a, is this a good thought experiment? Is this a bad one? Is, have you heard it before? I don't know. Uh, that's what I want to know.